Let's take a look at the electron geometry for H2S. This is hydrogen sulfide. So for the electron geometry, which is different than molecular geometry, for the electron geometry, we're just concerned with the steric number, how many things are attached to the central atom. So for sulfur right here, our central atom is sulfur, we have two hydrogen atoms and two lone pairs with a steric number of four. We're gonna have a tetrahedral electron geometry for H2S. Let's look at that in three dimensions. So we have two hydrogen atoms, one, two, they spread out. And right now it's linear, but watch what happens when we add those two lone pairs, one and two, and it forces those hydrogen atoms down. So we end up with this shape here. If you're talking about the molecular geometry, we really don't take into account the lone pairs. We kind of hide them. And that gives us a bent molecular geometry. But since we're interested in the electron geometry, you can see that we end up with a tetrahedral electron geometry because we're taking into account the lone pairs. Let's go back. So again, we have that sulfur, we have the two lone pairs, then they push the hydrogens down. And since we're talking about all of these electron domains, we have one, two, three, four. That's our electron domains, our steric number. Tetrahedral is the electron geometry for H2S, hydrogen sulfide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.